Korea TV guide to Bonus and Windermere. Brought to you by Windermere Lake Cruises. Over ten and a half miles long, Windermere is the largest lake in England. Windermere and Bowness draw thousands of visitors to the largest concentration of accommodation and shopping in the whole of the Lake District National Park. The village of Windermere sits a mile and a half away from the lake that it now takes its name from. It was originally called Birthwaite, but the name changed with the expansion that came with the arrival of the Kendal and Windermere Railway in 1847. For many visitors, Windermere is the first stop in the Lake District. There's easy access by road from the M6 and by train by the West Coast Main Line. The bus and train station are conveniently located together and there are loads of connecting services to take you further into the lakes or down to the lakeside at Bowness. If you need help with your onward destination, then the Windermere Tourist Information Centre is just 100 metres away. For the day visitor, parking in Windermere is limited to the station, Booth Supermarket, where a purchase is needed to park, and Broad Street, which is the other side of Windermere's main area for shopping, cafes and restaurants. If you can't wait to experience the beauty of the surrounding area, the moderate uphill walk to Orest Head is just across the main road. Once you reach the top, you can enjoy the stunning view that gave Alfred Wainwright his greatest inspiration. Now, if you've built up a thirst after your walk, the cosy lamplighter bar belonging to the Oakthorpe Hotel is back across the main road at the top of High Street, where the warm and friendly atmosphere and great value pub food is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. The parallel streets of Main Road and Crescent Road in Windermere are filled with restaurants, cafes and bars, as well as a host of independent shops and boutiques. Number 22 is situated on Main Road, a ladies' boutique offering unique fashionable clothing. It's home to Windermere's largest range of scarves, plus an extensive range of jewellery, bags and accessories in a welcoming atmosphere. A short walk from the railway station and just a stone's throw away from the shops, bars and restaurants in Windermere is Southview Guest House, benefiting from being one of the few guest houses to have its own swimming pool, sun terrace and its own bar. For those that enjoy the friendliness of a traditional guest house with some of the additional comforts of a hotel, Southview is worth a look. There are loads of places to eat here, but one that really stands out is Lazy Daisies. So Tony, tell us a little bit about the business. Um, the business, I've had it now four years now. We bought it when it was kind of a run-down tea room, if you like. And uh, we've just sat, kind of steadily built it from there. And it's not just a traditional Lakeland Cafe, this. You do an awful lot more. Tell us a little bit about the things yeah, that we Yeah, we're open um, cleaned in 64 days a year. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. We do breakfast first thing in the morning, which run into your lunchtime period. So we'll, we'll still do breakfast up until 12 o'clock. And then if somebody wants a Cumberland sausage at 9.30 in the morning, then we'll do Cumberland sausage at 9.30 in the morning. So it's breakfast, it's lunch, it's light lunches, soup and sandwiches, wraps, chia batters, cake and coffee if you like. And then in the evening we will do from five o'clock, we kick into our bistro menu then. So it's uh, we've got a good uh, cross spectrum of, uh, of products. Never stops. Never stops. No. Nothing lazy about this, Daisy. Nothing lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just off Crescent Road on Birch Street is Triarom Computers. Triarom provide a large range of products for business and domestic users, computers, laptops and all the peripherals that go with them including printers. We also provide for people visiting, we have internet access, we have phone chargers and we have games for children when they're away on holiday. The Windermere area offers the most choice of accommodation in the lakes with many guest houses, hotels and apartments running down from Windermere to Bowness. One of the many high quality guest accommodations in the area is the AA five star rated Woodlands Boutique Hotel, where the focus is on style and comfort. 
there are 15 luxuriously appointed ensuite bedrooms, plus a private garden and a breakfast to remember. Complete with complimentary leisure facilities at Parklands Country Club during your stay, Woodlands is highly rated amongst its loyal guests. Marking the division between Windermere and Bowness is the Badley Memorial Clock. Mountford John Bird Badley was a renowned English guidebook writer and produced the highly regarded Thorough Guide to the English Lake District in 1880, offering guides to low-level walks and general advice on motoring and accommodation. The memorial was erected by public subscription from friends and admirers around the country. A mile or so down the road is Bowness on Windermere, the most visited town in the Lake District. The ancient parish church of St Martin can be traced back to 1483, though Bowness is very much a Victorian town. For those arriving by car, there are a number of areas to park in Bowness, the most central being in Rayrig Road. Most people make their way to Bowness Bay, where the Glebe is a popular destination for family picnics and the site of many events throughout the year, including the spectacular Windermere Air Show. If you didn't pack a picnic, then the Ship Inn on the Glebe provides food for all the family and serves a wide variety of drinks in what must be one of the best locations in the country. For many of the visitors to Bowness and Windermere, the main aim is to get out on the lake itself. 1.3 million people do it every year with Windermere Lake Cruises. So John, I don't need to ask you why people come out on Windermere Lake Cruises, but what kind of feedback do you get from your visitors? We get some fantastic feedback. The people who come and visit us, they relax on the boat, it gets away from the stress of the city life, they love the scenery, the experience, they love the trip. You look out the window, see the beautiful views, the hotels, the wildlife. But in addition to that, you can have a cup of coffee, relax. If it's a really nice hot day, come up, enjoy the cool breeze on the lake, nice pint of lager, really nice. Well, Windermere Lake Cruises is the biggest visitor attraction in the Lake District. We have about 1.3 million visitors each year. We're a seasonal business and a lot of people say to me when it comes to the winter, well, what do you guys do? And the answer is we sail every day apart from Christmas Day, but during the winter we're sailing the boats as well as looking after them, so that in the summer the boats are in absolutely pristine condition, ready to receive the thousands of visitors that will travel on each boat each year. We've got a fleet of 16 passenger boats, ranging from the biggest ones, 533 passengers, down to some smaller ones with, uh, with only about 50 seats. And those boats, during the height of the season, so that's from April to the end of October, they'll be sailing throughout the day, every day. We have a, um, a thinner service in the winter, but as I say, every single day, apart from Christmas Day, we all have a day off then, we're sailing, looking after the people, because there are visitors to Windermere all the year round. In the centre of town off Crag Brow is an award-winning and uniquely Lakeland family attraction. So Greg, what is it that makes the Beatrix Potter attraction so popular? It's something for everybody. It's a family attraction, it's an all-weather attraction. People can rem reminisce as adults about their childhood and children are discovering entirely new characters. How do you keep attracting new people? By retelling the stories by keeping it fresh, by encouraging people to learn about Beatrix and what she stood for, uh, to discover the Lake District as a whole. It's not just about um, the attraction, it's about all of Lakeland and what Beatrix tried to do to preserve that. What's your favourite bit of the exhibition? My favourite's the garden. Um, we're currently sat in the garden and there's beautiful things that you can see. Uh, there are little glimpses of uh, garden images from the stories. You'll see the Miss McGregor's greenhouse, all sorts of little things that evoke uh, childhood memories for virtually everybody. And there's plenty to do here. It's not just about the attraction itself. It's not just about the attraction. We have um, activities for children. There's an activity sheet that people can do in the garden. They have to find characters that are hidden. They have to find words that are hidden, some more easy than others. Um, yeah, no, there's, there's lots going on. Um, we have our own kitchen garden now as well, which uh, we planted up at the start of this year, and that provides fresh produce, organically grown fresh produce for our own tea room. 
Um, so we, we continue the theme all the way through the attraction. And uh, there's so many touches, and there's the cafe and the shop and everything else, so you can spend a good chunk of time here. Certainly can, yeah. And, and it's uh, something that people come back uh, year after year and, and look at and, uh, and see changes. And there are lots of exciting things coming in the future as well. It's our 20th anniversary next year, and um, we've got lots planned for that. And it's always growing and developing this attraction, isn't There's it? There's something new every year. We try and make sure that the attraction stays fresh and people see different things every time they come. If you want to explore the world of Beatrix Potter further, then the Windermere Car Ferry, just south of Bowness, will take you over to Sori, where the author lived and wrote a number of her famous books. Dominating the bay at Bowness is the McDonald Old England Hotel and Spa. The hotel started as a Georgian residence and then had Victorian add-ons over the years and it became a hotel in 1869. It's a very famous hotel and many, many uh, heads of state have been here. We've had uh, Churchill, George VI, we've had the Emperor of Japan. You know, if you go back, this is the, was the place to stay. I came here about six years ago and um, we identified an opportunity for a luxury large hotel in the Lake District. Well, obviously, as you can see from the location, it's unrivaled, and the Old England's probably one of the most famous hotels in the Lake District. So I went to McDonald Hotels and said, do you know what we have here? And they said, tell us a bit more about it, Kay, and why we should invest. Um, following on from those conversations, we decided to invest £13 million in the hotel, which saw an additional 49 bedrooms and a luxury spa, um, which we spent £7 million on, um, which is basically now one of the best spas in the north of England. Um, it offers a sanctuary, harmony, serenity, um, has eight treatment rooms and a 20 metre infinity pool and a terrace overlooking the lake. Um, a techno gym and everything else that you need to relax and unwind.